Hello and welcome to the Oshkosh Poet Podcast. My name is Tom Cannon. I'm the Poet Laureate of Oshkosh. And I am an author as well as a poet. I have a few chapbooks. I have a few books out there. Uh, and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to talk about how poetry is a way to live in the now. There's a lot of tips on wellness. And they focus on living in the present. Uh, say living in the now. And I believe poetry is a powerful way to live in the now. As poets, we are focused on observing what is around us and taking it in with our senses. Otherwise, too often, people that are not poets miss those small things around us. And not so small things. Um, there's two other choices to living in the now. We can focus on the future. However, the future is a sense of, uh, source of anxiety. It's worrying about something that may or may not happen. So my theory, theory is that by experiencing life, being ready to write a poem, we reduce our anxiety because few, the future can be a great source of anxiety. The other things we can do is f thing we can do, the other thing we can do is focus on the past, things that have happened that we cannot change, and unfortunately, the past determines how we think and how we feel. However, poetry and all writing can help us reframe our thoughts. It helps us to retrain our brains. Because it in, taps into our subconscious, writing a poem about the past or present hurts help us to deal with it and hopefully separate ourselves from that pain. So we might just share our pain through a poem and that's good because somebody that needs to hear that they are not alone will really appreciate that. I just think we have to be careful to deal with the past and not dwell on it. Again, we need to be ready to take on the world with all of our senses and be ready to savor it. That's a happiness skill. And so as poets, we must fight to keep looking at the world with awe, not become jaded, but to see how everything is unique and special and valuable. Then we sit down to write poetry. We want to make a work of art that is vibrant and beautiful. That act itself is a joyful act. It's a way to savor those good experiences. And if you're writing about something that's not easy, it promises to be cathartic. Uh, perhaps it is raw and ugly, but after it's out, the poet in you can go back and shape it into something powerful. And I believe that is a way to take the power away from the ugly. It's a process to draw the toxins that it's putting into your body, draws it out, and then it allows you, the poet, to begin a new story where you are the hero and defeating the bad. How do you do that? Uh, right now, everybody has the skills and the abilities to overcome obstacles in their lives. I believe that. We are not deficient. Rather, we just have to learn our strengths and get rid of what is covering those strengths up. Studies show that 95% of our brain is subconscious. So where our day-to-day -day functions determine poetry and any type of writing as a way to access the subconscious. By so doing, doing so, we disrupt what we're doing automatically, which leads to living life intentionally with our values without fear. We uncover our strengths, and our strengths show that through when our actions meet our values. So poetry helps us to divine our values as well as our strengths. Poetry helps us to find our strengths, helps us to let go of what hurts us, and savors the good things around us.